Hey guys, today we're gonna do two of these beautiful premium pork butts, bone-in pork butts. We're gonna do them on the Traeger and they're gonna be fantastic, right? I hope so. All right guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Todd. Sassy. And this is Greenhorn Barbecue Beer, guys. And Hey, right off the bat, I want to thank some of our viewers, obviously the viewers here in the United States, but also viewers in Australia, Norway, Portugal, and elsewhere, kind of in that order. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate uh, the international crowd, and be sure to comment below where you're from. We'd like to hear about it. Okay, so today we're going to be using the Traeger pellet grill. It's a Sunday, it's the day before work, so I really don't want to start messing with the yoder. Uh, today we're going to probably go swimming and stuff, so I want to set it and forget it. So in doing that, uh, we're going to be using Pit Boss pellets. Nothing special about that, that's just what the store happened to have. I'm not promoting them in any way. Now they are a mesquite blend. and. I have a theory that since the pellet grills really don't deliver a whole lot of smoke, and I'm not gonna use a smoke tube today, that the extra that you get from mesquite, you know, because it is a very strong uh, smoke, um, it may make up for, you know, the fact that it's a pellet grill and, and not a whole lot of smoke is delivered to begin with. So that's my theory, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it out. So yes, I am putting two of these pork butts on here. Um, it's just about the capacity of what my uh, Traeger can handle as far as quantity, but uh, I've done it before. I think it'll work out just great. So how are we going to season it up? Well, pretty simple guys. We're going to use this regular yellow mustard. Nothing special about it at all. And we are going to be using some coarse ground black pepper, kosher salt, and granulated California garlic. Now the quantities is going to be about two to one on the salt uh, and ground, uh, coarse ground black pepper and a little bit less uh, on the granulated garlic. So, you know, I'll leave a little flash here of, of exactly how I measured that out. So we end up with a little mixture that looks something like this. Just make sure it's really well mixed up. The granulated garlic tends to fall to the bottom, but just make sure you give it a good shake before you put it on here. So let's go ahead and uh, start uh, seasoning up these pork butts. All right, guys, as you can see, couple of nice premium pork butts here guys now you already know this but uh, for those of you new to the barbecue world these don't come from the ass of a pig okay their pork butts are actually shoulder meat okay and most uh, pigs have you know several different cuts that come out of that shoulder and an upper leg area and uh, this one's got the most what they would consider dark meat Okay, with the bone in. I love the bone in because you really know when it's done by just pulling that bone out, you come out really. So I'm not gonna really trim much of this fat cap. But I'm just gonna show you how much fat that has. Look at that. To it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna score the fat cap. And that's gonna give it a chance to render down. Just like that, guys. Pretty simple, huh? This fat cap looks to be just a little bit thinner, so I'm not gonna bother any trim. I'm just gonna score it, just like I did the other one. And again, it's gonna help get the render going. And uh, since I am cooking this for friends and family, uh, I want more yield than I do competition, guys. Uh, I want uh, to get plenty of this to the people we love. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and start smearing. Okay, regular good old yellow mustard. That's all you need. Okay, watch out for that little bone right there. It will cut through your gloves and your skin if you're not careful. All right, guys, as you can see, we got this fresh California garlic and uh, Sassy has uh, cleaned these up here a little bit. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and do a slit and I'm gonna do it on the side away from the fat cap. I'm gonna make a nice little, nice little slit there and I'm just gonna slide it in, push it in there with my finger. 
I'm just going to make sure it's down there. It's not going to come back out. And I'm going to do about four of these per pork foot. see I've transferred my mix of coarse ground black pepper kosher salt and grain laid garlic into a plastic container that's easily easy to shake up okay I'm just gonna go for it I'll do. Um, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to go one. This one, I'm going to go fat side up. And the other one, I'm going to go fat cap down. Give you guys a little quick comparison. In the end, I don't think it's going to affect it too much. But uh, we'll take a look. And you can see how these slits that I did with the uh, fat going to help that uh, seasoning kind of get in there. Okay, All right guys, fat cap up, fat cap down, let's get the tray ready. Alright guys, I want to just thank Uncle Steve Shake for sponsoring this particular video here. We are about to give away two 12 ounce bottles of any kind of shake you want. These are ours, you can't have them. We got it all, we got the spicier, we got the competition cow powder, we got everything lucky shake, my favorite, the gator shake. You're going to have to get your own, but you can't get you some. So be sure to check out the links in the description and otherwise we are going to go ahead and pick a winner again you guys just need to be subscribed to this channel like this video or the video from wingnut wednesday and give us a thumbs up so uh and comment down below so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use the random picker uh, i entered the video url and i hit get youtube comments and then I'm going to start. There we go. Boom. Smoking Bears right there. The winner. His comment was, we do like us some Uncle Steve's shake. All right, guys. This is the winner. Smoking Bears. All you got to do is tell Uncle Steve's shake uh, the two 12-ounce bottles that you want, any kind you want. I'm also going to send you a confirmation via this app and uh, probably via Facebook. Now, if you don't let us know here in a, about a half a week or so, we'll pick another winner. But uh, otherwise, congratulations. Um, thanks a lot for uh, being a subscriber, commenting on our videos. We really do appreciate it. Uncle Steve Shake really is a really great product. He supports the barbecue com community. He's a hell of a guy, so go get you some. We're going to leave a link down in the description so you can get your own if you didn't win. And guys, every Wednesday, Wingnut Wednesday, you have a chance to win some kind of barbecue prize. So check it out, and uh, let's get on with the show. All right, guys, I got the trigger rolling at 225. It's looking really nice. Throughout the cook, I'm going to be using this Thermal Pro uh, TP19 Instant Read Thermometer. I'll leave a link down below if you want your own but otherwise I'm not going to really be checking it too much other than that let's go alright guys as you see 
I put the fat cap up on the left and the fat cap down on the right. No particular reason, left or right, but uh, that's how I'm going to do it. So there we go. I'm not even going to look at it for about four hours. All right, guys, let's take a look at these uh, two beautiful looking uh, pork butts, bone in pork butts, guys. They've been on here for about four and a half hours now. This is the one that's fat cap up, and this is the one that's uh, fat cap down. And I'm just going to check the temperature here. Okay, it looks like uh, a 135 on that one, 135. Yep, they're both, both about the same. Okay, so I'm just going to let it keep cooking. All right, guys, so, um, you know, almost five hours in. There's not a whole lot to do now. Um, I'm going to call that an average of about 140 because, you know, I've, I did find a little spot, a few spots that was about 139. So it's coming up pretty rapidly. So what I'm going to do is right about 165, and that, when that bark just sets up, uh, that's when I'm going to completely wrap both of them in foil nice and tight double wrap then I'm gonna put them back on there and that's how I'm gonna finish them out before then I'm gonna start spritzing with a little bit of apple cider vinegar water mix and just keep the top moist make sure that uh, it's not burning and really that, that's about all I need to do guys these things are almost self cooking they're, they're that delicious and it's really hard to, to mess up one of these pork butts you know kind of like you know like how I messed up that brisket so, anyway, guys, let's get on with it. All right, guys. Here we go. Now, uh, you're probably wondering, hey, what am I doing with this uh, roasting pan? Well, they were kind of large, and uh, I, I really like the, the bark and stuff like that, but, you know, the trigger is just not getting all the smoke that I would really love to have. But I definitely want to finish it off. So I'm going to finish it off in the oven, the electric oven, and so I can save them pellets. But I'm not going to totally wrap tight with foil, which is usually what I do. I'm not going to use this big old lid either, because I do want to constrain it somewhat. So I'm going to use some foil to kind of cover that, just to kind of put you know a little bit more less space between the air and the pork. But I am gonna take the rest of my 50-50 apple, apple cider vinegar and water mix, and I'm just gonna fill it up just to the bottom of that uh, little grate. Let me show you here. You can see some of that in there, okay. Extra wide, heavy duty foil. And, oh man, it just barely covers it. But not quite, not, not quite. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's going to work out just fine. There we go. And this oven is set for 300 degrees. All right, guys, first question you might have is, why well, I'm dressed funny like this. Well, you know, I'm out in the pool and stuff, just enjoying the Southern California coastal sunshine, and uh, I had to run in and do this really quick. Your second question may be, why 300 degrees? Well, when you're wrapping up these pork butts, whether you're putting them in a container like I did or tight with foil, it gives you a chance to up the temperature and cook it faster, and that's what most people do. That's what I found is successful. And now what I'm going to do is maybe two or three hours from now, I'm going to start probing for tenderness. Now, if it's feeling like butter with that probe going all over the place, then it's done. And I want to time it just right. I want to make sure that I just get to that point. It can go a little bit further because, you know, what I'm going to be doing is pulled pork. I'm taking these to work, actually, so I'm not going to pull them for you. We're going to actually take a couple pieces off on each one and show you the difference between fat side up, fat side down. I'm not sure there'll be any differences, but I want to preserve the moisture, so I don't want to completely pull them apart. I'm going to leave them whole, put them in the fridge, and reheat them at work so that all my friends and coworkers can enjoy it.
All right, guys, let's see. It has been almost 12 hours uh, total time here. As soon as I put it in the oven, I cranked it up to 300 and 325, and it uh, pushed them over the edge, I must say. Got them cooked up really tender, really quick. So the big difference between these two pork butts is obviously we cooked one fat side up, we cooked the other fat side down. Everything else was identical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, without sassy knowing which one, I'm going to dish up a little chunk of each one. And then I'm going to show her, I mean, she's going to taste it and try to decide whether that one was fat side up or fat side down. Now, let's take a look at it. They look pretty close. Now, I'm not sure how these little chunks of fat were lost here. I'm, I'm not sure, honestly. Um, Maybe somebody was uh, taking a peek in the oven, but... Uh, no, it cracked open. Really cracked open? Okay. The fat cracks. Oh, um, so, you're not allowed to watch? Oh, okay. So, scurry on over somewhere else? Okay. All right, guys. So, without, sun, uh, without sassy knowing, I'm going to take a piece right over here now. Look at that. That's just coming apart so nice. Look at that, guys. Okay. Look at that. Ooh, it's hot. It is steaming. I gotta have a bit of that. Mm. Mm. Okay, put that one right there. I'm gonna get a little piece over here. Put it right there. And put a little bit of juice on each one. Because we, we love that juice. Hold on a second, baby. Okay, all right, here we go. Now let me just hide the goods. Put these over here. Your job <laughs> is to tell me which one you like better. Okay. We we'll call it sample A. Mm. What do you think? It's good. It's good? Mm hmm Okay. And this will be sample B. Um, this is a lot softer. This one's... Mm -hmm. I like this one. You like the B? All right. Well, it's probably no secret uh, anymore that uh, that's the one with the fat cap side up. I probably cut it too close to the fat cap and so you get a really juicy piece whereas this oh, one oh i got a super juicy piece this is good yeah. too they both taste the this same but good. it's a little stringy looks like mm -hmm. um let's get a piece of that a mm. little pulled porkish mm. tastes good mm. Mm. good like that okay mm -hmm. all right but your uh overall opinion was uh you like the uh, fat, fat cap, cap up so yep I, mm. okay all right, guys, there we go. A very unscientific test, fat cap up or fat cap down. But the bottom line is they both tasted great. I took it to work. It was a hit. Everyone loved it. We used some rolls, cut it in half, had a couple different kind of barbecue sauces. Coworkers and friends, they ate it up. They loved it. Uh, in fact, I gave out the recipe to the two or three folks, and I, I really hope that they go forth and succeed in their smoked pork butts and that's what's all about guys sharing barbecue love and that's what we do here so guys if you like what you've seen here please subscribe comment down below tell us all about your recipes and be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video and meet us up on social media like facebook and instagram until then guys share the barbecue love